All right guys, this video is really more of a short tip for you guys. I wanna say that basically whenever you guys are culling, culling is the process of rating your images, so flagging, rejecting, so on. Whenever you're culling, you want to always cull from the library module. Uh, and the reason being is that the library module is designed for speed and for organization. So when you move from image to image, the library module is loading up a much quicker preview than the develop module where it basically has to prep the sliders and all the develop settings for each image. And I'll show you that right now. So you can see how quick it is moving from image to image within the library module. Now if I switch to the develop module by hitting D, watch how immediately things begin to slow down. And I'm on a very quick computer, but you can still see that moving to, from image to image we can still see a little bit of loading time. And this is still the case even if you guys have already rendered previews. There's still always gonna be a little bit of time between images where Lightroom is basically loading up the settings for that specific image. Now a lot of people are in the bad habit of culling while they're in the develop module because they have their develop sliders available. The only exception to this rule, the only time when you wanna do that is if your workflow process is actually a basically a culling out process and we're going to discuss that later on when we get to discussing the different kind of workflow process but basically that's a process where you are developing and culling simultaneously and then it's still efficient to basically do that in the develop module but you're still pretty much more efficient going in the library module doing your culling and then after you have culled your images going to the develop module and developing the remaining images all right guys so just remember that culling and organizational functions are much much quicker within the library module